And we're back with part two of episode 36. George, George and Arthur, welcome hey, back, boys. Hey, welcome back, everyone. Hey. Um, part two tonight is called Controversy Corner. Oh, yeah. And this is where we go over the hot topics of the week. Mm-hmm. Um, where, you know, between the three of us, usually if you ask us something with a yes or no answer, you'll get three different answers. <laughs> so that's that's about right. That's about right. Um, okay. Yeah, exactly. so, Before we go on, Nicola, can I uh, make a the, the yes. correction? Uh, yep. Last week I, I said that uh, last week yeah. was um, the Tigers' um, last victory or they hadn't won a game for a year. I got that uh, wrong. My, the source that I got it from, uh, they were wrong themselves. This week um, was the last week last year where Luke – Brooks uh, won a game, yep. so that was a year ago. And um, inform me on, on what round was the last time? The West Tigers beat the Brisbane Broncos in July of last year, July which is actually what year. started the Broncos sl- slide downhill. Okay, so there's a couple of more months to go f- for yep. um, for Tigers to be a, you know, a year yep. without a loss, but definitely this week is the last the last Luke time Brooks. Luke Brooks Luke yeah. Brooks won. So it's been a year for Luke Luke yeah. Brooks without a victory. And uh so I'll take that and and uh thank you for alerting me, Athens uh sixty nine. Yeah. Uh, point taken, uh, and, uh, point taken, yeah. Jim. And uh, and and that's and just on that because we're we're obviously a professional set up here. So <laughs> our attorneys, Harvey Specter and Jessica <laughs> Pearson, advised us that we needed to make that correction on air, yeah. which we have. So. I also need to make an apology too, man. Um, yeah. In the, one of the first episodes, I said that I felt like Clancy. <laughs> Matt Bonner <laughs> rang me up. Actually, Clancy was the doctor from Skipper. <laughs> Jerry Jerry was the guy in the helicopter pilot. So sorry Matt Bonner, I meant to say Jerry, the so helicopter pilot. You mean our our entry song or entry is yeah, wrong it's every wrong. week. It's, it's wrong uh-huh. every week, mate. And Clancy was the doctor from Skippy. I just found that out the other day. I was uh, yeah. Did you? sorry Matt. Bloody we're, Clancy. We're, we're sticking with it. We're sticking with Bloody it. Bloody Clancy. Bloody Clancy. <laughs> so uh, okay, so let's kick off, boys. So we've got a few topics to talk about. So in no particular order, we'll start with Jack Whiten. Um, retired from representative football. Uh, now, before I ask you guys, I, I heard something late on this one today, and apparently there's a rumor going around that retiring from rep football increases his value offer from the Dolphins. Oh, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it was Ooh. talked about in the in the footy media um, late, so don't know how much credibility it has to it or not but basically i think the dolphins are saying if you're he's 30 years old right Mm -hmm. so from what i understand the dolphins apparently allegedly Mm -hmm. have said if you retire from representative football we'll pay you more money to keep how how much are we talking i don't know you know if canberra's have offered him 1.1 million for four years Mm -hmm. it's got to be north of that oh well so i don't know jack sorted out Sort it out because you were terrible last week. And if this keeps on going on, um, you're just going to dig yourself into a, to a bigger hole. Uh, make your decision and sign with somebody. I don't know what, what is wrong with 1.2 and staying home. Um, I don't know I, what I've got to be honest with you. If it, was, if it were me, but if I was 30, even if I was 25, the lifestyle, I'd be heading off to Brisbane just for the yeah, lifestyle. Yeah, but – Especially but, for your last contract. Yeah, but Nick – He's home. Yeah, I know, but his wife's not. And we all know that's the problem, right? Yeah, that's the problem. Um, that's the problem. Because if, if it wasn't for any other issue, I'm telling you now, think about it. He'll sign. I mean, come on. It's 1.2. I, I went to Brisbane for the weekend a few months ago and I didn't mm. want to come back. Yeah, no, I agree. It's, 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 <laughs> it's, it's, look, it's, what, what they say, uh, a beautiful one day, perfect the next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. But, God, Jack, yeah. Jack, come on, Jack. But we'll definitely we'll, like, there'll be, we'll hear more about that. How legit is, it, is the rumour or is it a disappointment? It rumor? was on – Because <laughs> I the, think the dolphin could be his wife. You might call it, it a dolphin. A doll, you reckon? And, uh, you reckon? Unconfirmed. <laughs> unconfirmed. Because he's been because of his wife, isn't he? Maybe, maybe. Unconfirmed at this point, but apparently it came from one of the reporters on, that are on source, 360. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. source, yeah. oh yeah. then it's definitely wrong. Source. Yeah, it's definitely wrong. <laughs> Carry on, is yeah. doing his thing? Oh, jeez. Yeah. yeah. Um, What's the next one, mate? The next one George is going to love. What do you got? Phil Gould. Phil, yeah. We'll so call him. Gus, 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 what's he like Gus, for me? Gus is un, under the pump a little bit at the moment because mm. there are a bunch of clubs who have actually apparently lodged an official complaint to the NRL. Complaint. 
Plan. And I'll explain what the basis is. As we all know, coach, <laughs> coaches are the easiest example. As we all know, coaches are not allowed to criticise or question the integrity of a referee or an NRL official. Absolutely. They do that, they get fined. Absolutely. No one knows that better than Sticky. Right? Yeah, well, yeah. Um, now, that rule holds true for any senior mm. club official. So your CEO or your football operations general manager, whatever the case may be, they can't come out and question the integrity of a referee mm. or an NRL official. Phil Gould's been doing that for years yeah, because he also works for Channel 9 as a commentator. Yeah. So when he's when he's commentating for Channel Nine, he criticizes the bunker, the referees, he, and he gets away with all of that under the Channel Nine banner. Mm. And the other clubs are complaining because they're saying it's a double standard. He's yeah. using that medium to do something that someone in his position is not allowed to do, and yeah. he's getting away with it. And I have to agree. Yeah. I have to agree because you you know, I understand you're working for Channel Nine, but you also are whatever his title is at Canterbury. I forget. Um, so the same rule applies even when you're on live TV. What do you guys think? I thought it was also because of his um, opinions on players as well. That Suwali thing about rugby, get him out, whatever. Well, that's part of it. I, yeah, yeah. The, I think the Roosters weren't happy with that. That's part of it. Yeah, and, and he's on a public medium where everyone looks up to him for his, his, you know, his opinions and going out and slagging a player like Suwali, saying get rid of him now. I think that's that also hit a nerve. At, and that's why some of the coaches are a bit upset because it's, yeah. it's um, attacking some players as well. That well, because like. I mean, I mean, coaches, yeah. you know, they they can't come out and say stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But he he's got a he's got a way of doing it yeah. where he's not being penalised for but it. He's not the only one. There's other. There's um, oh, is there any other coaches that are on the box? Alexander's the CEO of um, yeah. of Penrith. Yeah, but, but he never says he anything. He never does bad. He doesn't cross yeah, that line. I suppose. Yeah, he doesn't cross it. Look. And he's on Foxtel, not Channel Nine. Yeah. So maybe. That might have something. To do Look, with Gus, well. Gus is calculated. He's uh, he's shrewd. He knows exactly when he says something. He knows exactly what he's uh, what he says. Um, everything's got a meaning. Everything's got a double meaning. Everything's got a triple meaning. Um, they can file all they want against him. Uh, we know that nothing's going to stick on him. Oh, I think this is going to be different. We'll see. Let's yeah. see. Let's yeah, see. it's going to be interesting. I think Let's this see. is going to be different. Let's see. Mm. Um, uh, he's just one of those one of those guys, and and uh, I'll go back to the bullfrog. Just one of those guys who um, is in control of the, the situation. You know what I mean? Um, I agree. By the way, I don't think uh, any anyone, uh, including Brandy, should mm. have a job in the on, on the on in media. I don't have a problem with it, but I just think you know you got to you got to be responsible with it. You know. Well, look like, again. He's he, everything that comes out of his mind is calculated, thought about. Um, he he's on he's on um, the Monday Night Show every yeah, Monday, hundred percent footy. Which I don't watch. And is every it? week, without fail, he's Opinions? smashing the bunker. He's smashing referees. He's smashing okay. um, because. Because you, no one looks at him as the general manager of Canterbury or whatever. They look at him as Phil Gould, the Channel 9. He plays both sides well. Yeah. He plays yeah. both sides well. And uh, he always says on his podcast, I'm not part of the media, but he is very much part of the media. Yeah. Well, he hides very behind much. that media banner in order to get away with the things that he says and other clubs just getting fed up with the double you, standard. You know what? I'm, I'm intrigued to see what happens. Let's see how much power he actually wields. Yeah. So if he gets off scot free here... That means he ruled so much. Well, power. the article that I read on Fox Sports today mm -hmm. uh, is actually headlined by saying the NRL is afraid of Gus Gould. Oh, so let's why go that far. Well, that's but but it's insinuating exactly to your point. So yeah. let's see let's see how it plays out. The only thing I can tell you is if Valandis believes having him or make letting him do what he does is a benefit to him. Mm. Or the league, he will let that go. You know, the yeah, funny that eh? Volandis is driven by money. Yeah, yeah, okay, true. Um, and you know what? For once, we got someone driven by money. In a way, it's not a bad um, thing. Mm. You know I what I mean? I thought it was funny last week when Phil Gould came out screaming about the five day turnaround, saying the Bulldogs we've got a five day turnaround. I'm like, yeah. well, yeah, Paris everybody got has. one this week. Everyone yeah, everybody has. has <laughs> everybody has everyone one gets one every week. It's not nice, but um, you yeah. know when um. Uh, when, when you look at the game on uh, Sunday, when the Bulldogs played Good Friday, 
the Bulldogs played on Good Friday. Yeah. yeah. Whereas um, Parramatta played on Sunday. Okay. So yeah. there's a three day difference there. But everyone gets a five day turnaround. Everybody gets a Friday. Everybody, so, the whole team will get. Every team gets one. But so. that's. Um, but yeah, that's the, Friday night. What are you talking about? Sorry. <laughs> no, no. It's, he was screaming about you're the laughing, fact that they had... You're they, laughing at uh, me again. I'm they, trying really hard. They had a five-day turnaround. But every club gets a five-day turnaround. Yeah. yeah, I suppose. Every club gets a five-day turnaround. Let's, um, let's see what happens. I'm interested in that. And he's, saying, he's talking about that after an eight-day turnaround. Yeah, we'll see what happens. You know, the, the previous week. So the next point is going to make you happy, Arthur. What's that, mate? <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Hook, your oh, old no, mate no, Hook, no, right? Don't, please, Anthony I don't Griffin. Want, I don't want to this hear. has got to be the balls up of the season so well, yeah. far. Yeah. In in the Dragons versus Raiders game, Hook named. Now, as we all know, when oh, you name your God. starting side, hmm. that's the side that needs to take the field. Yeah. So he named Jacob Little as the starting hooker, mm-hmm. but he actually they ran out with Moses yeah. M by at number starting at hooker. As yeah. you do. Do you know what that means? Yeah, one, it means one that they used up an interchange yeah. before the game even started. It's over, man. What? That, what the hell? That, that just typifies the club how it's going at the there's moment. Too, the there's too many people it's on terrible. the coaching staff to 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 get that wrong. Yeah, it's it's right. Terrible, even man. if the coach gets that wrong, what about his assistant? What about everyone? It's embarrassing, you know? and um, I, I really feel sorry in all this for Jacob Little because he's been really good for the Saints. When he comes on, he he makes a yeah. huge impact. And there was, a, I think against the Broncos, he was carving up. There was one game he absolutely brained it and they were talking about using him 80 minutes. And after that week, I think Hook put him on the bench and gave him even less minutes the, the following week. So it's very bizarre how he uses Jacob Little. Um, but that's just typical of what we were expecting this week. It, it's it's just a basket case. To, the way to start the game and in, an interchange it's, short it's is terrible. just unnecessary. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the decisions... A lot of it, a lot of things that are being done lately has been it's been crazy, man. Um, doesn't surprise me. That's all. That's, that's I wouldn't a, be surprised if next week we run out with that, eleven players. That's a pretty poor short. mistake. Yeah. You know what? There's, there's only one answer. St George Board uh, get some balls and just sack the guy, put him out of his misery. Put him out of his misery. It's not going to be okay. long now, is it? Yeah. Yeah, put him out of his misery. I don't care. Get, get <laughs> what, what, a caretaker coach at the moment. It's better than what you've got during it's, the game. During the second half of that game. Which you would have seen, obviously. Um, they, were, they the camera went up to the coach's box, and Griffin had a sip out of a can of Coke. Mm-hmm. And I forget who the commentator was, but he goes, "You might want to be drinking something a little bit stronger than." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, uh, who's the assistant coach? Uh, Ryan Carr. He came from Parramatta. He yeah. was the attack coach there, and yeah, he's the nephew of the great Eric Carr, who was the drummer for Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. And the other guy is Ben. Uh, no. The Wolf guy's brother oh, from yeah, the Christian Dolphins. Wolf. Yeah, yeah, Christian yeah, yeah. Wolf. It's Ben Wolf we got. Yeah, got the wrong I think, uh, Wolf. Yeah, they I thought they were getting Christian. Ben Wolf. They thought they were getting um, Christian, but they yeah, just got them the first got name ben, wrong. So yeah, but, just, but you know what? Just, just put the guy out of his misery. Terrible, please. <laughs> please, <laughs> please, St. George Board, put the guy out of his misery and get one of the Wolf brothers there to just, coach. They've got to be better than this bloke. Yeah, just on that, we know we've talked about Jason Riles, Dean Young, um, with the scenario at St. George, is mm. that a scenario where a first-time rookie, first-year, first-grade coach can go and take over? I think. Um, look at Webster, what he's doing at the Warriors. He's not uh, first-time coach. No, no, but if you bring in Riles, who's got all that experience with um, with Robbo, with Bellamy. Yeah. All right, I can't say. Fitzgibbon, same thing. He's doing okay, Cronulla. So if a guy that's had a lot of tutelage, I would – Throw uh, in. I, I I wouldn't do I wouldn't do young and and Cronulla made the semis didn't they before Fitzgibbon went there. No, they're, they're, look, that was different. Cronulla's been always in and around the. St eight. George, with all due respect, at the moment we all know the club's a basket case because yeah, of because yeah. of what's happening upstairs. Yeah, upstairs, I, I for me, upstairs. I, I'm I think of the Trent Barrett factor. He went to Manly when the club was in a shambles. He went to Canterbury when the club was in a shambles, and he was and he became a victim of that. Mm-hmm. I don't guy. want to see that happen to a young coach. I'd I'd be much more inclined to bring in Des Hasler or Shane Flanagan yeah. on a two year deal, yeah. and then with Dean Young or Rolls or whoever to take yeah. over after that. But I just think it's a lot of pressure Look, on a on a first timer. They've got a lot of good options, and the good thing with Dean Young and Hornby, if they do come in, 
Um, They're Dragons DNA. It's not that. It's Sloan, Amoni and all that played under them when they were in the juniors. So they yeah. know their game well. They <laughs> yeah. know how to get the best out of them. That's a good point. Yeah. So if you're going to bring in guys, it's those guys because they know all those juniors off the back only, of their hand. Only, um, but only. if you get a Des Hasler for a couple of years just to steady the ship, <laughs> put them underneath and then after two years, just like what Wayne Bennett's doing, what he yeah. did at the yes. Mitru, what he's doing yes. at the Dolphins, yes. what Tim Sheens yeah. is doing. Yes. Yeah. And it's George, working, it's working follow. really well at the Tigers. Yep. Follow the same well, model unless – I'm going to get Kane for that. <laughs> <laughs> unless you go – I know they really want Royals. Um, a lot of people are saying, oh, well, Royals is going to Melbourne. Well, they're also saying Billy Slater's there. But I've also heard – Billy Slater's already rejected, has he? already rejected. But there's yeah. a guy named Brettinall who's been at um, his right – better than his right-hand man. Not Greg Brettinall? No, I think he's related or something, but apparently he's really, really good. Okay. So I I'm not sure why he's not even being mentioned either because he's a fantastic coach you, too, you, apparently. You, you, and you know what? The Melbourne j- job, I wouldn't worry about it because they'll get the, the one they want. Exactly. Yeah. Be, it, be it Riles, be it Brettinall, yeah. be it Des, who, it doesn't matter. They'll get their man. It's the St. George is the St. George is the issue, okay? And I agree with Nico, okay? Mm. You need a strong coach, yeah. an experienced coach, not because of the team, because of the board, mm. okay? And then – Together as a as a ticket, you know you know need the two St George boys, okay? Mm. Promise them after two years, get 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 um get the Hornby, get uh, Young, tell them guys, you can be assistant. Yeah, give uh, Desi or even Flanner. Flanner, exactly. That's what I was going to say. Two what, what, years what, and yeah. then we'll change it around. One thing about that Dawn of the Dolphins documentary mm. is that you you saw Wayne Bennett was in everything. Every meeting with yeah. every head of every department, he was there at the head of the table with total control. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But just, and he's earned it. He's weighing better. Absolutely. Right? But can I just say, you know when they were training, he was taking all the sessions. Yeah, yeah. He wasn't. No, he yeah. wasn't. He, he wasn't. wasn't. He didn't even show up to the games he half doesn't. the time. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But he, Sachin. T- Sachin was yeah. taking the training sessions or Wolf was taking the sessions. Exactly, yeah. Right. But with um, Wolf was talking to addressing the team. Yeah. Sorry, Adi. Yeah. yeah, there was there was a rumor that came out last week. Whether I don't, it's it's hard to believe, but they're saying that Flanagan, part of the board want Flanagan, and apparently Peter Doust is against that. He's the only one that's okay. stopping it because it's got to be unanimous board. I, yeah, I, I heard that. I don't. It's hard for me to believe that because if Flanagan was never part of the Dragons setup, then fair enough. But he was, he was an assistant coach for Mary and he was looking after the list yeah. for a couple of years. So why would they want him to do those jobs, especially the looking after recruitment yeah. Yeah. with his past and not want him to do the head coaching role? It just they, doesn't add up Did you me. hear that they approached Billy Slater and he yeah, turned I heard that as well. well. Yeah. He said, that's just to see if he had interest. He, he said he knows nothing. Yeah, I heard his pod this, this afternoon. He said he, he knew nothing about it. He goes, I know nothing about so it. So that's not true then? He goes, if they've talked to my manager, I don't know. That's not goes, possible. That's not possible. Yeah, he says, not possible. He said, he, he that said, means they haven't spoken to his manager. He said, "Quote, right this moment, um, I've got young children, I've got a farm with horses, and I've got the Origin job." He goes, "I don't need any more jobs." And he's got a so, job at Channel Nine as well. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. And, he, and he goes, "I live in Queensland." He goes, yeah. <laughs> "Well, yeah, I, I think I've told you in the past. I, I used to see Brad Fittler quite often in my old job mm. um, because a good mate of mine, Andrew Malnos, who owns owns the cafe." Uh, he sold it now. He's now he's at Birkenhead Point. He's really good friends, close friends with Freddie and the Burgess brothers and mm-hmm. Jason Stevens. I met all these guys mm-hmm. while I was working upstairs. I used to go down, and funnily enough, Andrew doesn't follow footy, um, <laughs> but um, but they're very close. Like you know, he showed me photos on his phone of them going on overseas trips together and stuff. Wow, jeez. Um, and I remember talking to Freddie uh, one day down there down there at. Um, Pier 8, Pier 9, where it is. And um, I asked him, I go, you know, do you have any interest in coaching first grade again? He goes, he goes quite honestly, he goes, I've got the best job in the world at the moment. He goes, I've got the origin and I've got Channel 9. Mm. And he goes, yeah, I'd like to, but I wouldn't give up what I'm doing at the moment. Absolutely. And that's the exact scenario Billy Slater's yeah. in right now. Yeah. Yeah. Why would you? And he's raising kids as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, can I just address something because um, that – Rumor, yeah, that, yeah. that rumor came out from Michael Carianas, mm. and Michael Carianas Cari- said that um, Dallas doesn't like him, doesn't want him. Okay, mm. and the arguments they have behind closed doors regarding Flanner, allegedly, really, because Dallas 
just doesn't work. That doesn't like it. Really? Yeah. Now, and he goes, it's under the disguise of the peptides and everything. Okay? Yeah. But he does, just doesn't like it. Well, one and, step at a time. Holds, and he the, holds a lot of – Dallas, unfortunately, holds a lot of weight in St. George. They've, right? they've got the board meeting, so let's wait and see what see comes to that. Tomorrow, yeah. Um, exactly. once, once, once he gets the hook, we'll have a clearer picture on where, where they're heading. I hope. At I the hope moment, so. any option is a good option for me. It's Christmas Eve for you, <laughs> exactly. Marty. It's Christmas Eve we for hope, you. We hope. We hope. But you can't wait until tomorrow. Yeah, hopefully. Um, next point – I want to go over is <laughs> Jerome Luai hair pull. I know we covered this in, in part one. Um, was it a penalty? Frizzell has not been charged. Let's just go over it again quickly. Um, I yeah. thought it was accidental. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with the penalty because initially I thought it wasn't, but if the penalty wasn't given, you could make an argument that it should have been. Mm. Um, I suppose in an incident like that, we see a penalty – without a sim bin or a charge, which is really what we're asking for, isn't it? Common yeah. sense in a lot of cases where something might be worth a penalty but not a sim bin or, or any further action. So um, I personally it's a tricky think, one. I don't think it should have been a penalty, but a penalty is better than being sim binned or yeah. getting suspended for it. So if, if, if we look, all he got was a penalty, then all be it. But pretty harsh because yeah. you can see he's grabbed the jumper. It yeah. wasn't just hair. It was jumper well, as well. There's hair everywhere. Exactly. It's impo- it covers half his back. It's, Mate, a, it's the risk you take. It's impossible to not grab. If you're tackling him from behind, exactly grabbing a jersey. Mm. Not George? In, not intentional. Uh, unfortunate. Um, uh, a guy with uh, plenty of character. Um, hair was pulled. It was a penalty. I wonder he'd go if he went up to the Dolphins. You know, Wayne Bennett's first rule, don't turn up with a shit haircut. <laughs> He'll get a haircut. He'll get a haircut. Um, just, and just quickly, on his other two rules, Wayne Bennett. So the first rule is don't turn up with a shit haircut. Um, the second rule was don't be late okay. because if you're late, yeah. you're telling everyone else that you're import- you're more important than the rest of us. Okay. And his third rule was don't end up in jail. <laughs> and he goes, but I'm flexible on the third rule as long as it wins us a game. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. so, love your work, Wayne. Love wow. your work. Love yeah. your work. So uh, the six ne- rings. So the next point is, um, we all saw Ben Hunt his interview where he kind of indirectly threatened to walk away if he's yeah. backing the coach, right? Yeah. Um, and he kind of he didn't threaten to walk away, but he suggested that he might look at his options if if Hook was sacked. Now Ben Hunt, to the best of my knowledge, is contracted and there's no get out clause. Mm. Regarding the coach, so he's not going anywhere. Yeah. It's probably him just trying to back the coach. Yeah. Uh, we all know the coach is drowning. What, what do you guys think? What do you got, Adi? And is that look, a concern? You're, the, you worried you're about, the passionate one. I can understand him backing the coach, but I think he stepped the line when he's, he's yeah. mentioned about him walking away. Like when he throws himself into it, yeah. um, he's overstepped the mark to me, man. I don't like it because the club is more important than the coach. Yeah. And the way he's speaking, it's like the coach is more important important than, than the club, and I don't like that. Uh, as a fan, we, it's it's left a really sour t- taste in our mouth, that's for sure, because he's our captain saying this. Yeah. Um, and saying that we're going to go back two years, mate, uh, uh, that is just it, total it, malice, it was mate. actually a really uh, self-absorbed comment that he made yeah, where he it, goes, yeah, it's, we're going to set us back two years and I don't have two years. Yeah, I know, it was. It's not just about you. It was. It's it, about the be- what's better for the betterment of the club moving forward. Yeah. Um, that, so that was a really selfish comment to make. Exactly, and it, to 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 me, it's with Wall Hooks there. He's going to be the number seven. Uh, I reckon as soon as a new coach comes in, nine, nine. Sloan, and then we're going to have then we're going to have the spine that we've all been crying for. Yeah, and I think he's fearing that he's thinking, and that's why I think he just wants Hook there because I think he's running the show. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Moan's playing six because he prefer Moan than Sullivan, even nah. though Sullivan's the better. I move, wouldn't be surprised. Move ben he's Hunt, picking the, the move side. Ben Hunt to seven. What, Sorry, move Ben Hunt to nine. Exactly. That's Bring in Luke Brooks, who's off contract no, no, at the no. end of this year. <laughs> at this stage, mate, I would swap Brooks for Hunt at this stage. That's how, that's, that's no, how those comments have really left a really He's bad the longest place running place. first grade player to never play a semi final. Yeah, and you can see why after. Brooks. after yeah. What oh, is Brooks. it, 13 years now? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. No, no, look, uh, in terms of um, Hunt, Ben Hunt, be a professional. Okay. Uh, turn up. And give you give you uh, give the team your best because what you're doing, 
does not go good for your legacy. Yeah, you've got a mate. Guess, you, guess what? Your mate in, in Colour Must is not going to be there and you're going to be a hooker. Okay, so guess what? Be a professional, uh, Mr Hunt, be a professional. Mm. I agree. Um, should there be more pressure on Sticky? Ricky Stewart. In what term, but in, 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 I don't think he's doing a he, bad job. He, he's not doing a bad job, but he but he just never seems to be one of those coaches that is under pressure, okay. even when they're underperforming. Are we talking about the rugby league team or him personally? Uh, no, his he, role as the coach. He's yeah. been there a decade now. Okay, okay. You know what? It's a difficult one because Canberra is set up for, for Sticky. He's set up Canberra for Sticky. Um, should he be more pr- under more pressure? P- possibly, possibly. I think he's possibly. done pretty well. He's yeah. never really had. We all know Canberra struggles to attract players because of the geographic situation where which, they are. Which it shouldn't be, right? Well, I mean, no one wants to go live there. Yeah, it's that simple. Why. I don't know um, why. He's done fairly well. He's never really had a great team, has he? He's never really had a team of stars. Not he he of brought stars. a few Englishmen over mm. and built the nucleus around them. That fell apart. But they did get to a grand final. They, they got to a grand final. How yeah. many coaches can say that they've Three gone to grand ago. finals? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, okay, let me see Fitzy in seven years if he gets Cronulla to a grand final. Let yeah. me see if Seraldo yeah. gets him to a grand final. Yeah. Let yeah. me see Webster if he gets him. You yeah. know what I mean? He's yeah, I okay, agree, man. I, so, I agree, Nicole. I, I agree, uh, Adi. I agree with And he, with he gets that. him around the eight. He hasn't got him down the bottom of the, no, of the ladder. No, no, no. Like, I don't know. I don't know. And, uh, a bit harsh. Okay, the last point, uh, Walsh versus Ponga. Who's the Queensland number one? Yeah. No question for me. I look, think it has to be Walsh. Look, if if Ponga is he's back this week, and if he is plays, he? yeah, he's back this week. Where's he playing? Apparently, uh, oh, I don't know. Team but list tomorrow. Team list tomorrow. But um, if he plays good football, you can't drop him because he was outstanding in the Origin. You but, can't stop. But an even if you player. compare the first few rounds, I oh, know it doesn't matter. Form wise, Walsh was. Way, yeah. way in front. But Queensland's not New South Wales. They don't no, pick you're and right. choose they, and they, they won, don't drop players And they nothing. won the series. Exactly. And, yeah. So I would, I would put all my squad? trust in squad. Is he in the I squad? Would. If he's, if he's fit and healthy. Yeah. Definitely. Yes. Okay. All I'll say about that, um, okay, put the incumbent in, but what Walsh gives you. Yeah, um, he's phenomenal. Think, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, what's his name? Toilet Boy doesn't, doesn't give you. Yeah. yeah. Toilet Boy gives you nothing near it, and you know what? Toilet Boy, oh. do you can you trust Toilet Boy to produce what he produced in Game Three? Because I know what I'm going to get from Walsh. I see it every week. I do every week. I, could, I trust Ponga. You trust Ponga? Oh bloody oath! I've he seen did the play. job last year. She's game, fantastic. One game. No, I've seen him play. Yeah, some yeah but phenomenal George, games. it was the game. Yeah. But, 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 in the but, toughest but arena. I'm going to say it again. If I pick Walsh, I know what I'm going to yeah. get. Yeah. Yeah, but I'd you're, have Walsh, you're telling me. Yeah, but Queensland build their players. They've had him in one series, no, two. No, no, no. They're I, not going to no, 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 give no, no, up on the project no, 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 and wait, start wait, again, wait, wait, fresh. Forget, forget what, and you know what I think about Queensland, and, and, and you know what I think about uh, the mentality, okay? But you're telling me you trust, because you've seen it week in and week out, what Pong is going to give you. Yes. Okay. Yeah. No. That's all. I'm I trust saying. Queensland's yeah. way of thinking more than I do no, New no, South no, Wales. No, 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 no. I don't I'm, not, I'm not asking that. I'm not asking that because then we can we can go down a rabbit hole. Uh, the player, the person. You're telling me you're comfortable. Oh yeah. You're okay. Yeah. No. On his I'm day, good. he's I'm pretty good. good, man. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. If you if you trust him, you believe. But if he's not fit, if he's not 100 percent, and he's not playing good, then for, maybe I'll think about Walsh. But okay. I don't if think he hits the ground running and plays. So I don't think can, we can, can go you, wrong with either can, one. Can, can I ask you one question? Um, that Newcastle team, yeah, I don't know who's injured. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Where, where would you put him in? You're not going to remove Lockie from fullback. See, that's a good point, George. He's not played fullback this year as well. Yeah. Oh, well you're not going to move Lockie from fullback. He's yeah. the key. He's not played fullback this year. Okay. Trebojevic and Latrell haven't played centre. Yeah, no, 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 no. 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 In, this, in this Newcastle team, Marty, where are you going to put him? You're going to put him in the five eight. They're going to put him at five eight. So they're going to take away Gamble. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll see how he goes. Oh, I can't wait to see. Well, him. they bought Lachlan Miller for that reason. The Otherwise, they wouldn't have bought yeah, Lachlan. Yeah. And he's. No, he's playing well. Our uh, by of the season. Isn't yeah, by the season. Yeah. By the season. Yeah, no, no I'll just wonder where we're, we're, yeah. I'll just wonder where we're going to put him. That's all. Yeah, I know. Okay. I know. Let's we'll uh, let's move on to ask Adi. Oh, my we'll favorite segment. Adi. My favorite segment, no, no, Adi. It's just what we're going to do first, actually, guys. Yeah. What do you got let's for me? Go, let's go. Let's go the top eight, the power rankings. Oh, I love it. Right? First time, first visit. Get, let's see, let's see if we can get some good sense out of what this. What do you got for me? So currently, the top four we've got the Broncos, the Panthers, the Warriors, and the Seagulls. 
You comfortable with that? Who we got? Do you think they're the four best teams in the comp? The Broncos, the Panthers, the Warriors, and the Seagulls. With the exception, the Warriors and Seagulls are questionable. Okay. Um, but the other two, yeah. All right. Now, the, b- below them is the Rabbitohs, the Sharks, the Storm, and the Dolphins. Who would you swap the Warriors and Seagulls with out of those four that I just mentioned? Uh, sorry, say them again. The, the Rabbitohs, the Sharks, the Storm, and the Dolphins. Definitely the Rabbitohs. Yeah, you put and, them in the top four. And either the Sharks or the Storm. Yeah. What about you, George? Yeah, well, would right. you keep the top four as it is or would you swap the, the Sharks, the Rabbitohs into the top four? The, ra- the Rabbitohs will make top four. Seagulls yeah. will not be top four. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, fair enough. The Sharks will be there, the Storm will be there and uh, the Dolphins will not be in the top four. Okay. So the Well, the Dolphins the are on eighth. Now, out of the eighth, can you see any of those dropping out? And who would replace them that's not in the eight at the moment? Well, the Dolphins would drop out. Yeah. Who would take their place? Roosters. you got the Chooks Roosters. up there. Um, who else you got? you got the Eels. I Roosters. just think when the competition filters out, mm. I don't know the top eight is going to look too different to last year. Yeah. yeah. I, I believe. Yeah. You know, you know, you know what, Adi? I'll tell you what. The Roosters will make With the With the exception eight. of Brisbane. Yeah. Yeah. The Roosters will make the eight. Parramatta will make the eight. Okay, so two will drop out. Dolphins are gone. One, okay? So someone else will drop out. Warriors will have a great season, but I don't think they'll make the eight. Probably, yeah. you're right. Because they haven't played any, any top-line team yet. Don't forget that. They haven't played any big name. Broncos? No, no, Warriors. Oh, Warriors. And don't get me wrong. Well, Cowboys were a, finished second or third in the comp, man. So Last that, year? that was a big name. They played them twice. Yeah, but so they've knocked out the Cowboys. Yeah, yeah they're, but they're bad now, but they're a top eight side. Yeah, they were a top, they eight, were a top eight, eight side. Yeah. yeah, now they're coming second last. They're coming second <laughs> yeah, last. Yeah. So, hey, you can't even play what's in front so, of you. But you, you know what? Isn't it interesting that the eights looking different? Didn't they beat Sharks? It's too early. They beat the Sharks. It's, it's too early. early. Oh, no, it is early. I yes. never look at the table until halfway through the competition. All right, then we won't. Well, you know what? This week we're going to have a, a few changes to the eight because we've got the Warriors playing the Storm. So what is it? Oh, wow. Third versus, you know, seventh. So yeah, that good. one game can put the Storm up to third and the Warriors down to seventh. Yeah. Um, and then you've got uh, – there's another big game in there which I'll go through later, which is good. What about the Storm uh, – the Spoon? Are you comfortable with the – Tigers specials. Specials? I, specials. I, 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 before the season started, I had the Dolphins. I really thought the Tigers would improve. Yeah. But right now, I just can't see where that improvement's coming from. Yeah. So, yeah, Tigers. So, at the, at the moment, we've got the Cow, Tigers, then Cowboys, Bulldogs, Raiders. I can see the, Cowboys, the Dragons dropping into that little echelon there, and yeah. we'll have the Tigers. The, Bulldogs, the Cowboys Dragons, won't, won't be bottom four come the end of the season. They might no. not make. Top eight, but they won't be bottom four. I think yeah. the Cowboys might sneak in. We'll see. It's going to be tough, but uh, they're leaving it late. They really needed to win last week, but we'll see how they go. Um, all right, boys. Now, another question I've got. We got all hear about the injuries. They've, they've, oh, sure. they've only got four points, the I know. Cowboys. I know. Yeah. Yeah, but look. They're leaving the, they're it's leaving only four it. points from the eight, man. Yeah, they're leaving it late. Yeah, I know, I know. They've got to start winning. All right, guys. We've talked about the injuries. Which team's got the most injuries? I think it's the Bulldogs, Bulldogs isn't yeah. it? Bulldogs? I don't know, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. How many do you reckon they got? Seven. Out of a squad of 30. What, what's your t- tip? 10 or 11? 11. Oh, 11 wow. injuries, man. Oh, wow. sorry, injuries or suspensions. I'm going through the whole list. Wow. So the Bulldogs are first on 11, right? That's massive. And and when I read the names out, you've got Jake Averillo, Braden Burns, Davey now, uh, Karaz, <laughs> Brown, <laughs> You got Franklin Pele, Ado Carr, Luke Thompson, Kikau. So that's a majority of those are first grade players. So yeah. just starting lineup. I mean, for me, I hear Ado Carr, Kikau. Yeah, exactly. Probably two others. The other three or four. I mean, they're not top line players. Exactly. So they're first graders. No, no. Yeah. We, after that, you got four teams on seven. So it's four seven, different. Yeah. yeah. So it's a drop from seven, and those injury hit teams are Manly. Man. The Knights, the North Queensland Cowboys. See, that's why they're struggling. Yeah, who, they, who, yeah. Tell yeah. me some names. Tell me some names from North well, Queensland. Well, they've, Shab- they've got McLean, Jordan McLean, Lukey, Tamalolo, Girfanine, James Tamo and Lulia. That's a whole forward okay. pack. Okay, yeah. You okay. can see why they're struggling. Okay. So, yeah, after I saw that injury list, I thought, okay, that makes a bit of sense why they're, okay. they're struggling. Okay. But look at the Warriors. They've got seven injured as well. Seven? <laughs> no, Seven. I'm curious, how many did Newcastle have? Newcastle have seven as well. They're the yeah, second okay. most hit. They've got Brody Jones, Ponga, who's 
concussion. They said round eight for him. And Jacob Saifidi, they reckon he's back round eight. So those two are back. They've got Adam Klum, Adam Elliott, and a couple oh, of guys. Yeah. Of, and Jaden Braley, which is their hooker. So they've been hit hard. Manly have got a few. They've got uh, Tuolagi, um, Lawton Schuster, who's back this week, hopefully. Thank God. Uh, Garrick, Tupolutu, Tupolutu, Tupolutu Tolakula. Who's the center? Who's a gun? Some of these teams with injuries are doing remarkably well. I know, yeah. I know, I know. And then you got after that, you got teams with six, which is South. Did you know South have got a lot of injuries? Six. No. Yep, they've. Got, I thought they got the full team in. Well, Kalamatangi is now injured. <laughs> they, they've got a TBC there, so we don't know how long he's going to be out for. Yeah. You've got Mitchell, Shaquille Mitchell, Totola, which is a forward. Um, Thompson, Isaac Thompson. Havili and Liam Knight. So they've got quite a few they're injuries. They're all top liners. And, and they're out as well. They're all top liners. But, yeah, the injuries are really taking its toll, boys. And um, is it, is it, Does it seem we've had we've got more this year than, than normal, Nicola? It feels that way. What's the reason for After it? hearing those numbers, hip well, drops? <laughs> the hip drops? I was going to say at Canterbury, maybe Gus needs to look at the strength and conditioning coach. <laughs> but after hearing the numbers at all the other clubs, um, it's a tough one. I mean, yeah. I mean, obviously, what's the nature of the injuries? Um Oh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a tough one. The, the least impacted <laughs> are Parramatta with only two. <laughs> yeah, but you know, we had five or six in the first month of the season. Yeah, so you got so we've got to run back now almost. Well, it's funny you say that because Brayley Simpson and Hodgson, I'm talking suspensions as well, they're both back, they're this, back week, this week. So yeah. you're going to have nothing. You're going to have a clean sheet, 30, wow. 30 men squad. Yeah. And after That's good. That's is good. the Broncos. Yeah. Broncos are third. Uh, second, sorry, with three injuries, yeah. which are big. They've got Jordan Ricky, who's TBC. He's got a groin injury. Uh, Thomas Flegler's back this week. Oh. And Corey Oates, broken jaw, eight to ten weeks. Yeah, uh, he's sorry, this week, yeah. Round eight to ten, so he might be back as well. So they might be back with a clean shirt. They're not going to rush him back this week. No, they, I'm sure no, they won't. No, no, yeah, quite a few injuries. No, the the youngster well. and the wing is doing a great Jack, job. Uh, Arthur's doing well, yeah. 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 Anyway, cool. that was interesting, Adi. Thank you. Yeah, got Thanks a bit of spam up, mail so. as well too, guys. Yeah, got spam. Yeah, you're my yeah. favourite. Hit us up. Yeah. My favourite. Well, firstly, um, I was wrong last week with Jared Hayne. He's actually um, – Silk Block B is up there anti now. So he's going over there for 1.8. 1.0 what? Million? No, man, 1.8 cartons. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they do with um, cigarette cartons. <laughs> Um, I think so they, the, they bought him. The salary caps, are, I think, twenty cartons. I think per team. So and they give him one point eight. One point eight. So oh, yeah, he's going over to the. <laughs> is that why? Is that why they brought him in early? That's it, mate. They yeah. brought him in early. They brought him away for that. Yeah. And Josephina, she said to um, all those people that are applying for the hairdressing salon role that she, yeah. she's got a vacancy now in her salon. Yeah, it's been filled. Been filled. Yeah, she's yeah. Got an apprentice. Yeah, someone's got there. Uh, Tyson Brazil. Tyson Brazil. Apparently, he's really good at. Um, <laughs> He's really good at uh, haircuts, uh, <laughs> perms, and pulling hair too. Of he course, he's, he's very good. Of course, he's. Yeah, of so course Tyson's going to be doing that. I love Jessapina. Jessapina, yeah, she's the best. She reaches out to everyone. Mate, she 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 gets her man. <laughs> That's the spam she man. Gets mate. her man, mate. That's him, mate. All right, good well, stuff. Thanks for that, Arthi. Uh, Arthi, thanks for that, Arthur. <laughs> Sorry, Arty, Arty slash Arthur. Um, <laughs> that wraps up part two of episode thirty-six. Um, a lot of interesting points. It'll be interesting to see how they play out. Mm-hmm. Um, so, guys, you know, as always, don't forget to send your feedback and questions to quickhandsrugbyleague at gmail.com. Watch us on YouTube, add your comments on Insta, Facebook, you know the rest. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow night with our Crystal Ball segment. Happy Rugby League, everybody. Happy Good night. Happy Rugby League.